Hey, I'm Daniel Abeg, a PhD student from the Adi Vekian lab and part of the NCCR Chemical Biology. So we want to deliver peptides in, into cells. However, to do this, we are limited because the cells have a plasma membrane, which protects them from the outside. And this limitation is not only for us, but also for the development of new pharmaceuticals and drugs. And so for this, we wondered if actually with chemistry we can overcome this limitation. This project is not only from our lab, but it's actually a collaboration with another group from the NCCR Chemical Biology, the Matil Lab. So they had developed and already published a molecule which is able to enter cells into an active transport manner. And this molecule is based on a strain cyclic disulfide molecule, which is called asparagusic acid. And so to make it easier, we call it the aspartag. So what we first wanted to know is how much of a molecule a peptide can we put on the aspartag and to deliver it inside cells. We attached the aspartag to a fluorescent peptide and looked by microscopy what would happen. And indeed, we very quickly observed that the aspartag entered inside cells, and not only this, it directly went into the cytosol after two hours, which is very good news, as there's actually not only limitation to pass the plasma membrane, but then also to go to the cytosol, where actually most of the drugs have their effects. But of course, we wanted to go to even bigger peptides to challenge the aspartag, and also at some point in the size, we wanted to have bioactivity. And so we attached a bigger peptide, N, which has bioactivity, and tried again. And again, we observed that the peptide with the aspartag went inside the cell, and not only this, but it also kept its bioactivity. What is very interesting to know to develop possibly further molecules is with which protein is the aspartag interacting with to allow entry inside the cell. And so for this, we went back to the Matil lab and asked them to synthesize an aspartag-derived probe. We were able to analyze the proteins with which it interacts with. And from there, one very prominent hint was the transferrin receptor, which we decided to work on. The aspartag has several advantages. First of all, it's very, very small compared to the peptide we attach it to. In this case, we are 10 to 20 times bigger peptide compared to the tag. And also, it was very easy chemically to attach it to the peptide, which is a great plus compared to conventional delivery method using the transferrin receptor, where they have to do complexes, for example, with the transferrin, which is the ligand of the receptor, or complexes with the transferrin antibody, which is, again, also huge.